Welcome back to Just Rain. It was a hell of a week, starting with never-ending rain. It's Wednesday, 3.30 p.m. There's been tornado watch warnings. Oh. The tornado siren is going off, so we're gonna go inside. <laughs> oh, look at little Barbie. <laughs> How are we feeling? Tired. Oh, yeah. Do you need a hug? It's a lot darker and it's moving really fast. Wow. Whoa. We're gonna go downstairs. Come on. Come on. Alright, we've come to the basement. As the hail started getting crazy, it sounds like the house is getting hit from all sides. Okay, the worst of it has passed. And these were some of the biggest ones that we got. Pretty big. About the size of my eye socket. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. The next morning, Carmen was very eager to put on her brand new rain boots and jump in the puddles. A few hours later, while Brandon was streaming clickbait, I went down to the basement to grab a broom. I mean, that, that kind of bad. Make, Hi, Brandon. Our basement's flooding. Yeah, you were a bad team. Your, Your basement's, basement's flooding? flooding? Yeah, we got water coming in. My sub pump's not fucking working. I gotta go. All Bye, right. Brandon. Sorry. All right. Sorry for the Actually, swear. that's yeah. a good idea for a contest. Like, flooded fields. How much did you get, though? Gravity. What was your count? What was your super chat count? Uh, Doesn't matter. You're winning. Eight, yeah, yeah. You're being punished. $89. Yeah. $89. Uh, okay, we've got ourselves situation that I just came across. Brandon was doing clickbait. We gotta, we gotta find a way to make it stay the same. Oh, with no fans of change. The next 48 hours were pretty rough. At first, we didn't know where the water was coming from at all. So we just started moving everything and shot backing up the water as fast as possible. Meanwhile, it had literally been pouring rain at this point for two days with another few expected in the forecast. Obviously, this is not good. So we had to figure out what the problem was. We quickly did what we always do in a household emergency, FaceTime Brandon's dad. But we also didn't want to bother him for the rest of the evening because at this point it was like 5 p.m. So simultaneously I started just calling plumbers. A few hours later we had help, a new sub pump installed, and for the most part had avoided serious damage. Poor Brandon was shot backing water out of the basement that night until almost 11 p.m. until he finally went to sleep. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Today, Brandon's working out of my office. The next morning we woke up and there was more water in the basement. Turns out the float thing in the sub pump got stuck and so it backed up and stopped working again. So the plumber came back, fixed the float, and Brandon went back to sucking water out of the basement for the rest of the day. It was a rough few days and so I was ready to get out of the house even if it meant getting completely soaked for hours on end. <laughs> Well, we've got our first stop done. If I let figure out where the road goes, even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high, even if the sky is falling down. to appreciate a storm when you're in it. Much easier to appreciate the calm before, but it's that messy middle part of discovery and repair that life, I guess, happens in. So it was a messy week, but it wasn't a terrible one.